Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to share with you some tips for teaching online. So, one of the first things you did as a teacher was set some class rules, right? So, as an online teacher, it's no different, right? It's the same, you have your same students, so they're just in a different setting and need a different set of rules, right? One of the first ground rules that I recommend is that your student, students sit at a table or a desk, right? Um, preferably one where their parents uh, have easy access to see what they're up to, help them if they need to. So the kitchen or dining room table, the family room table, um, but whatever it is, it's at a table. Set their computer, laptop, phone down on a desk. And the other thing is that they shouldn't be walking around, right? I mean, the tendency is they get excited. They're seeing their friends online. They want to show you their house. No, that's not what it's about. It's time for working. It's time for school. You need to sit at a desk. The other thing that we're trying to teach them is the differentiation between school and a social media conversation, right? Um, normally, they are accustomed to getting calls on WhatsApp from relatives that live away, or they talk. some of them talk to their friends um, using social media platforms, right? So this one is a little bit different, right? You can't just lie down on your couch, um, you know, cock your feet back, or uh, lie down in your bed, right? That's not appropriate. So we're also giving them the skills by setting these rules, giving them the skills that they'll need for the future. A lot of the meetings that they are going to attend are going to be online. So they need to have some etiquette that's a bit different when it's time for a professional setting, right? The other thing is they need to dress appropriately, right? These times are very difficult for everyone. So um, to say, okay, you need to uh, get dressed in your school uniform, right? You may actually be putting some e extra pressure on your parents, right? On, on, on the parents of your students. If you say you must wear a school uniform, that means now they have to go on iron. They got to get their kids up at a certain time, get them all in that routine. And you don't know what's going on in the home right now, right? With this um, pandemic, uh everybody's schedule is thrown off. So the aim of this isn't to put additional stress on the home. The aim is to just provide a disciplined environment for the students to learn, right? A healthy environment for the students to learn. And that's what you set in the classroom. So you've got to try and adapt and set that online, right? Uh, a good one, no pajamas. Don't come to your online class in pajamas. Really simple, right? Um, comb your hair right now that's relative to you know to everyone and their culture so for example um when they go to school normally they might have ribbons in their hair right online class is that really necessary that you know again are you adding pressure to the parents that's not not what's intended here we're just trying to say that you need to take care of yourself you need to you know look respectable and just just you know respectably for class. And you know what? That goes for teachers too, right? Yes, you're home. Um, you may be wearing jeans now or, you know, slacks or whatever that you wouldn't normally wear um, when you go to school. That's fine. Uh, but your top should be presentable, right? You're not going to wear anything that you wouldn't wear um, in school or to a school meeting, right? It might be a little less, a little less formal and that's fine, but it should be in keeping with your school rules and standards, right? Similarly, you wouldn't, um, if you wouldn't wear a head tie to school, then don't wear one to the meeting, right? You also, if you want to, to give them rules, you need to set some for yourself as well, right? The other thing is minimizing noise, right? And that's a big thing. So for example, to have this video, I, I've thrown my kids out of this room, right? That's what I had to do, and my husband as well, right? Um, in order to have this, um, to do this video. Similarly, um, you need to find an area, you as in the teacher need to find an area that's quiet. Now, everything is relative. You're not gonna put extra pressure on yourself. If it is that you need to um, supervise your child in their schoolwork 
while you're giving the online class and you have no one else to help you, your child is, is younger, then you do what you have to do, right? You know, um, you, you know your, the parents of your students are going to understand these are not normal times. Do not put an unusual amount of pressure on yourself, right? So what we're talking about is noise. We want to minimize noise. I don't know if you're hearing the truck passing by, right? But that's why I'm wearing this headset to minimize noise. I have a fan going. We're in, we're in a, a hot country. So guess what? The fan is going to be running most likely in that environment. So if you can, ask them to wear headphones. But if they don't have headphones, that's fine. Don't say, okay, go and buy headphones. No, we're not going to put unusual pressure on the family once again. What you can do is set rules or, or guidelines on how to use Zoom or whichever platform you're using. There's the hand up, right, um, button. There's a mute button and an unmute button. All students in your class should know how to use that. And in the case where it's much younger kids and the parent is helping, the parent should be doing it at first for them, right? So you teach the parents and hopefully after a while, the kids will get a hang of it as well, right? Um, you've got to minimize distraction. So yes, noise is one part. What about lighting, right? So if you couldn't see my face properly, right, then you, you know, it's harder to, to pay attention to the video. So I actually had to change my orientation. Normally in this room, I sit over on the opposite side. But on that side, the light would have been towards me. You would not have seen, um, you know, my face clearly enough to you know, engage in this online conversation. So I've put my back to a, um, to a wall, right? The wall opposite the, the window as much as possible. If not, if you must put your back to the the window or the door or whatever you know have the have the um blinds pulled right so things the curtains and thing blinds the curtains pulled most people have curtains right so um those are the kinds of of, of rules that you might want to set for your class for your online class so what rules can you think of what rules have you thought of that you want to start implementing in your online class let me know Put it in the comments below. Thanks very much. Bye for now.